Today I'm going to show you how to install the VirtualBox guest add-ons into uh, Ubuntu. Basically, those will help you do things like uh, increase the screen resolution and get better, like uh, the seamless mode will work better and everything. Basically, if you go to the all settings and then you go to displays and you want to change your screen resolution to something higher so that this window isn't just like a little box, like I have a really high resolution on my laptop, so it kind of sucks to have it this low and you go here to change it, you'll notice that there aren't any options to make it higher, and that's because you don't have the virtual guest, uh, the virtual box, what is it called? Uh, virtual box guest additions installed, and there's a few other things it does too, so they're very useful to install. In newer versions of Ubuntu, it's a lot easier than in older versions, but I'll show you both. Uh, to install it with the new version, all you have to do is go up to the uh, virtual box, like while virtual box is running, your operating system is open here, go to devices and then say install guest editions. And then just wait a second and it's going to mount a virtual disk to this, the, to your Ubuntu installation that you can then run. And in this case it actually popped up automatically and just asked if you want to run it. So I'm going to hit yes, or just hit run, and then it's going to prompt us for a couple things. So it's going to prompt you for your password. My password is just password as I set up in the last video. So, uh, but yours will be whatever you set up as the administrator password. So, uh, like just the one that you set up while you were installing Ubuntu. So it's P, I'm just going to type in password here and then hit enter. And it's going to authenticate. And then it will go through the installation just by itself. Uh, I don't think it asks any questions, but if it does, I'll show you how to answer them. So it's going to just uh, go through, copy all the files from that virtual hard drive into Ubuntu, and then it's going to install it. And I'm just going to pause the video here and then wait, and then basically resume it if, uh, if there are any questions that it asks while it's installing. Okay, now it is done. Um, let me just check here. So it's been 3 minutes and 48 seconds since I started this video. The longest part that took was the uh, building the main guest editions here, which took about a minute and a half. So if it's sitting here for a while and not doing anything, then just let it be. On a slower computer, it might take longer, like even up to like 10 minutes. I'm just not sure. But it took me about a minute and a half, and this is a pretty quick computer. So, uh, and then when you get to the point where it says installing graphics libraries and desktop services components and that's done, then the next option is just pr press return to close this window, which just means press enter. And so when you press enter, that just means it's finished. So I'm not sure if it's going to require us to restart before we uh, can change the, um, change the resolution, but I'm just going to check here. If it doesn't give me the option yet, then when I restart it should. So if I go to displays, and then I go to resolution. Okay, so I'm going to restart here, and then we'll see if it has the options then. So, shut down, restart. So now it's booting back up. Uh, it also could be that I haven't installed my video card drivers yet, which I will also show you how to do in another video, but it should let me go higher than 1024 just just with these, like the 1024 resolution. See now it's, it's bigger already, uh, as you notice here, like before it was a box that was only like this size, and now it's quite a bit bigger. So I'm thinking that the uh, guest editions took care of the resolution problem already, so but we'll double check. Okay, just give it a second here to boot. Okay, and then I'm going to check resolution. Okay, well it has a higher option for resolution here. It still doesn't give me the like really high resolutions like 1920 because I haven't installed video card drivers but once uh, but you require basically both of those before you can get a like this screen to show up a lot bigger so uh, we've fixed half, half the problem now you just need to move on to the uh, getting your video drivers which I will have another another video now I'm going to show you how to install it 
uh, install the virtual guest editions from the command line. Uh, you start off the same way, just go to devices, hit install guest editions. I already have it mounted, so that's why it did that. Uh, you'll notice that little disk icon down here. So if it doesn't pop up and automatically ask you to run it, and you're just having difficulty at this point, then the surefire way to do it is uh, you're going to need to open the terminal, which in the older versions of Ubuntu, it's going to be in the lists up here, like I think it's applications and then utilities terminal. Uh, in the newer versions, you click on the start, the search button here, and then type in terminal and it's going to pop up. It's going to look like this. So click on that. Uh, when you have a terminal running, it's going to look like this one. And then once you have it running, you're going to type in CD, as in like a CD disk, I guess, and then dot dot, space dot dot. Uh, and basically this just moves you back a directory. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into it because this could be pretty difficult uh, like if, to explain everything. So just follow my commands here. Just type in cd dot dot and then hit the up arrow and it will type the same command again. So then just keep hitting the up arrow and hitting enter. Uh, like you have to hit enter after the command to run it uh, until it shows the same thing more than once in a row and that means that you're all the way back at the root of the directory. So just once it says something like your name, like the username that you picked for your computer and then VirtualBox, um, then you should be all the way back at the root directory. Then you type in ls. You don't even really need to do this step, but it should come up with a bunch of things like this, and then you know you're at the root directory. Uh, we need to go into the media folder, so we're going to type in uh, cd space media, and then hit enter. And now you'll notice that there's a media added here because now we're in the media folder. So and if we type in ls here, it's going to show us everything that's in the media folder. And it, we need to now go into this folder, which sucks because this is a really long thing to type out. And you have to put all the capitals in there. If you put in any lowercase, it won't work. So then type in cd vbox additions underscore 4.2.12 underscore 84 nine eight zero and then hit enter and then now we're in that folder so now if we type in ls again you're going to notice this stuff here what we need to run is this vbox linux editions run you went earlier in the video when i ran it just like uh i just chose the option to run it automatically it basically did all this for us but now we're just manually doing it so we're going to run the same thing that it ran earlier uh, to do that you need to type in sudo sudo basically makes this run as administrator and then uh, you need to type in dot and then a forward slash forward slash is the one that's leaning forward so or I guess leaning to the right I would consider that forward but maybe someone who reads Hebrew or something might think it's backwards so uh, the one that's leaning to the right and then type in this one right here and you have to get all the capitals the same and everything so uh, v box VB is both capitalized, lowercase ox, uppercase L, I N U X, and then additions, uppercase A, D, D, I, T, I, O, N, S, dot run, and then hit enter. It's going to ask for your password. My password, like I said earlier, I set up as password, so P A S S W R D, and then it'll just go through the installation itself. Uh, you already saw this installation run once earlier. Just when it's done, you can just close this window and you're all good to go. So uh, that's basically all there is to it. If you have any questions, then just leave me a message in the comments. But that should be all you have to do. Hopefully the first option works for you. If not, then you'll have to do this command line. But that works just fine too.